was recording, but apparently my memory card ran out of space, so we're back. You got ritualistic Cleansing my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart yep. Tension Between us just like big defenses You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're falling apart From miles away, passive with the things you say, passing up on my old ways. I can't blame you. Now. Cleansing my soul of addiction for now, cause I'm falling apart. Yeah, tension between us, just like big fences. You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're falling apart Passionate from miles away Passive with the things you say Passing up on my old ways I can't blame you product so it's not black black it is like a black brown and this is the shoe organizer it's the Bisa so my idea is well was to use this and do it on the front but now that I'm looking at it I think I should have just went with the black or I should have put this on before I put the boards on I didn't even think about that entryway board batten DIY wall so I'm gonna show you guys the before we're about to get started so I definitely didn't have all my supplies when I started I was really doing so much running around so I'm gonna drop a supply list for you right here these are all the things you're gonna need um, to save time I did get Home Depot to cut all the boards down for me so what you want to do is make sure you take a couple different measurements I'll show you guys the different measurements you need you need to do the width of the wall if you're gonna so I decided to do the boards MDF boards to cover my walls first before putting the um, batten on the walls simply because my wall is an orange peel knockdown texture is what they call it so it's not completely smooth so in order to get that smooth finish that I see and that I like I am going to put the boards up first and I'm going to attach this with screws and brad nails I'm not using liquid nails on it simply because when I watched all the reviews and all the videos online, people who did do the liquid nails on the wall, when they wanted to redo it or they wanted to change up the style in their house, pulling it off removed drywall off their wall. So they had to repair their whole wall. And that's something I want to avoid simply because this is a DIY, so I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I like it and how it's going to turn out. 
So I don't want to do something that can't be reversed, if that makes sense. So I always want to do DIYs that focuses on the house still remaining in good condition if I were to take it down. I hope that makes sense. So I am doing the boards. Once again, I did get the boards from Home Depot and I got Home Depot to actually cut them down for me. I had a really nice guy. So all your Home Depots are going to defer on how many cuts they're allowed to do. On one Home Depot I went to, the wall said two cuts and after that each cut is 50 cent. So the guy was so nice and of course he did not charge me the extra. <laughs> I think that's just to prohibit people from taking advantage of doing, you know, exact cuts every single time of every single thing for all projects. So it is very important that you invest in a saw. I do have a saw um, that I'm going to be using to cut down some of my boards. So that is definitely needed. So if I did get some of the boards cut down, but then some of them, um, I ended up going back again. So I just really wasted time and money but <laughs> you can get them to cut each one down specifically just make sure you have the exact measurements of the board across the board um vertical and then the board for the whole wall if you're going to cover it this would have been a lot easier if all i did was put the boards the battens up instead of covering it with a board first because then you know i don't have to worry about the back and measuring the whole wall and that is a little bit more costly but um because of the texture thing i do want to make sure i have a smooth finish um for this particular project so i will be covering it with the the screws um and the brad nails is what i'm going to use to adhere the backboard and then after that to use to just put the battens up i am going to use the liquid nails um for that because it's going to be on top of the boards so this is the before i'm going to show you guys and then i'm going to show you guys hopefully a good after i debated back and forth on if i wanted to paint paint it when i got done white or if i wanted to paint it black so the thing with black is you guys remember back a couple months ago or when i first moved in i did paint all these doors black i did not paint the trim i left it white um so with that being in the entryway I don't want to overwhelm it with too much black so I'm gonna do it white I think starting off and if I don't like the white I'm gonna go back in with the black and paint it black so I rather paint it white first and not like it and then paint it black instead of doing it black and then I don't like it and then I have to do it all over I never painted my husband's office doors excuse that <laughs> we never got curtains up I never painted my office my husband's office door is black so I will be doing that after it makes me sick <laughs> I heard I heard husband <laughs> anyway I never painted these doors black and it's also in the entryway so I will be going in and painting it black um but I'm going to do the wall first to just get a feel of it and if I do go in if I do go back and end up painting the entryway completely black at the bottom where I redo it the board batten I will go in and paint all my trim black in the entryway because I think it looks a little bit more concise with the trend and I'll have to go back and paint my um, baseboards as well but like like I said at the beginning I did like the baseboards and the trim to be white I don't know it just gave it a balance so we'll see how the colors play off but that's my idea for right now so let me show you guys you guys already saw me put together the book the shoe so this is the shoe rack it did come together very nicely it does fit large shoes so I do like that so those are my husband's shoes and they fit so I really like that so we'll add that as well once it's done and I don't know if I'm gonna do this wall I might end up doing this wall as well but we'll see how it comes together guys so let's get started all right, y'all, so I have my drill and my screws that I told you guys to get. Um, first, I'm going to drill the screws into each stud that we have already on the wall. That way, it's completely nailed to the wall, and I don't have to worry about it falling off. So I'm going to go in with just a couple of these just to put the board on, and then I'll go back in and reinforce it with the brad nailer.
Primer and I didn't see that it was gray, so I got the primer, but it's gray. We need white to make sure it shows up white. <sighs> Once again, I'm gonna remind you: make sure you have all your supplies. I can't even tell you this is like my hundredth trip to the store, whether it's Home Depot, Walmart. Ugh. I'm just irritated. So I still have to, and I need to get a roller and stuff. And I don't even have my paint. So really, it's all my fault. So let me run to the store, y'all. I'm not bringing y'all with me. Run to the store, exchange this stuff. And then when we get back, we're really going to be ready for real, for real. <laughs>
because that's what everybody was using. However, once we got started with the project, we realized that the one I ordered wasn't strong enough. Like it didn't have enough power behind it to shoot the nail all the way through. So it'll shoot the nail into the wall, but it will still stick out really far. So mine wasn't strong enough, but we're back. And we have one that's way stronger and it's working perfectly. So I'm about to finish it up. This project that should have took a couple hours ended up taking a couple days because I got discouraged. Like so much was going on. Like I just felt like everything was going wrong. So my boys were the wrong size. It was just so much. So now we're back. We're going to start over and we're going to finish this. And we're going to knock it out tonight, y'all. Knock it out. I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to paint it white. Um, if you missed it, I'm going to paint it white. And we'll see how it looks in the hallway. And if I don't like it, I'll come back another day and paint it black. Because I do still have to paint these office doors black as well. So let's get into it. I was, I was doing a quick video. I'm about to just do one. You sure it's straight? You like that one? Huh? Yeah, you like that one, don't you? Now, let me see. Soldier. 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 All the pretty girls stand up. All the pretty boys stand up. Pretty boys in the building. Sweat. So all my, um, <laughs> all of these I did measure wrong in between, so I gotta cut those down again. So I think the number one thing about this project is measure three times before you go to the hardware store. Measure a million times and write all your measurements precisely down so they can do all the cuts for you and it'll save you a lot more time. So, yeah. This right here is my sway. Sway. The girls are on me, damn. Everybody pay attention. This right here is my pretty boy sway. Pretty boy sway. Pretty boy sway. Pretty boy sway. Girls on my dick when I pretty boy sway. Girls for my name when I pretty boy sway. Pretty boy sweat. Hey. Pretty boy sweat. Hey. Pretty 
Boy. I think the hard part is done. All of the brad nails are in. It is done. All structured on. Now it's time for um, I'm going to fill in all the holes with the wood filler and then I'm going to go in and sand it all down. Okay, y'all. Um, Alexa. Okay, y'all. So we're filling in with this plastic wood dap. Alexa, pause music. Um, this plastic wood. So I'm going to fill in all the holes with this. This hair is also true. Hey y'all, so all the holes are filled in with the wood filler and now I'm going to go in with the hand saw and sand all the spots I filled in down to make sure it's smooth um, when I go in and paint. Trim. Um, we did just pick this up from Home Depot. It's just the, um, it's called Finished Elegance Wood Grain Trim. And it, it's really small because I didn't want anything thick because I don't want a ledge to lean anything on since it's in, it is the entryway. I don't want a big thick ledge. So I got this skinny piece of trim. And um, when you go to Home Depot in the back section, you can have somebody cut the all the items down for you and then they also have a self-serve table that with a handsaw and it lets you cut as well so my husband cut these for us i had the exact measurements so it turned out perfectly i can't stress that enough when you get ready to do a project like this measure 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 every single thing i didn't measure a lot of stuff accurately so it made me have to do so much work twice, which it shouldn't have been that complicated. And it really shouldn't have took me three days to do this project, but it did because I didn't like prepare for this properly. I kind of just jumped head in first. Okay. So anyway, yeah, this came in a long eight foot um, trim piece. I cut it down into three different pieces for each of these walls. And then I'm going to use my Brad Neller and nail them in. And they're just a small little quarter inch that's just gonna sit at the top because again, I didn't want a thick ledge. You could do that ledge where you can lean stuff on it if you would like, totally up to you. So let's go through this. The bead, the board in the back, then we added the planks with the brad nails. We filled in with the wood filler. Um, I primed everything before I put it on because I just felt like that would be a lot easier than trying to prime everything up. And then I have to tape so much off. I'd rather just tape it off for paint. Might not even tape it off for that. So I did go ahead and prime everything. If This one came already primed, so it's already white. So that did save me a lot of time. You can buy everything already primed from Home Depot, but it is a little, a little bit more expensive. I bought these and eight foot pieces and they cut them down for me and they were like three dollars a piece in this board i got one board it was 12 or 13 dollars a piece and it covered all three walls and yeah so um this project you can actually if you do the measurements correctly <laughs> you can do i say you can do this project for with supplies for about 50 dollars easily um but that doesn't include your tools so save yourself the time measure correctly and then get them to cut it down for you and you won't have to worry about tools the only tool you will need at the house is that brad nailer to nail everything down i did do the liquid nails um for this top one and then the brad nailer but i feel like the liquid nails really didn't do anything because you had to hold it for so long before it actually worked so i x'd out the liquid nails um after that first plank i just went in with my brad nailer and it was so much easier um, I didn't put liquid nails on the back of these boards either because it does. Um, if I were to take this down because let's say I didn't like it at the end, it will pull all of my um, drywall with it and I, I don't know how to do drywall so we don't want that. So I didn't use liquid nails on the backboards or on my walls at all to prevent that. So yeah, let's put this on. Tuda, want to help me with this? Can 
you help me with this? I said. I hear you. Can you help me with this? <clears throat> Do I just shoot the nail at the top? It's what? a shrimp piece. See? Is it gonna go all the way through? I don't, that's what I'm asking because I don't know. Where's the thing at? Over there. I might have to switch to the long one there. Can I park the way down? Stay there. Gonna stay? No, that ain't gonna stay. So you think we should shoot it back? Try. <laughs> Squeeze it like this. This is not play though, okay? You gotta squeeze it like this, okay? Okay. Because you're working too hard. Okay. I love it because it tells me. Sunshine, nigga, touch my game. We gon' turn this shit to Columbine. Ice on my neck, cost me ten times three. Thirty thousand dollars for a nigga to get free. I, I just hit Rodeo and I spend like ten G's. I just did a show. Little mama, would you like to be my sunshine? Sunshine, 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 sunshine. Ain't no telling what I'm feeling. Be honest, ayy, ayy. I'm beyond. Hey, hey, little mama, would you like to be my sunshine? Nigga, touch my game, we gon' turn this shit to Columbine. Ice on my neck, cost me ten times three. Thirty thousand dollars for a nigga to get free. I, I just hit Rodeo and I spend like ten G's. I just did a shit. Alright, y'all, that's it. That's a wrap for tonight. Um, I painted each one of them two coats, and so we're gonna let it dry overnight. Well, it's already like. 3 o'clock in the morning, but um, I'm going to let it dry, and then in the morning when I wake up, I'm, I'm blurry. It's my glasses. It's got a glare. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to 
gonna let it dry for a couple hours and then I'm gonna see what it looks like in the morning and we'll see if it needs another coat or if we'll let it be. It was a long night, but I'm glad it's done. Um, so far, I like how it looks. My, my um, painting did get a little messy, but I think it looks good because it is white paint. And it's the same color as our trim already, so that's why I went with the white and I didn't bother um, masking it up. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks in the morning. Fingers crossed it turns out better dry. Like when I did the doors, the black doors, they look so good once they dry, like so good. So hopefully these look just as good. Right now, they look okay, but I need them to look like perfect. So we'll see, see you guys in the morning or in a couple hours.